Hi there, I'm Barry and this is CNC Modeler and today we're going to talk about how to um, fix these uh, plastic pipe and push fit fittings for air supplies. Um, so I've been having a lot of problem with, because uh, this I guess this garage isn't temperature controlled, um, I do have frost out on it but that's it, um, of these leaking. So they just push in, there's a little o-ring in there that seals on them and um, they just leak all the time and it's really annoying not only that the compressor keeps kicking in um, so it's costing me electric too so i wanted to fix it so i'm um, just going to show you how i've been doing that so uh, let's have a quick look okay so um basically like i said uh, you've got a push fit connector it has some uh, little teeth that grab onto the pipes so you can't push them out pull it out and there's a little low ring in there um, and I think these things leak because um, basically the pipe shrinks or this grows a bit or something doesn't quite work right. So um, Originally what I used to do was get some uh, good old electrician's tape and just put two layers on there. You have to be really careful to make sure that the join of the second layer lined up from where the tape started on the beginning so you got a really smooth surface. And... Um, uh, it was a pain in the ass because uh, yeah you, you couldn't it, you couldn't quite ever get it quite sealed, but it did do a reasonably good job. So then I was thinking, well, how can I um, get this better? Uh, so basically, I need to stretch the pipe. So all I've been doing is um, getting my uh, eroded microtherm. I know a lot of people hate these. Um, uh, personally, I love them because all I use this for is warming things up and doing heat shrink. I don't try and use it for soldering or uh, you know surface mount stuff or anything. It's literally just for heat shrinking and the odd bit of warming stuff up. So uh, I get this going in here. Literally just um, warm it round. Uh, try not to get too much heat right on the edge because it will curl and then you'll have to cut that off. Um, just warm it all the way through. It doesn't have to be that warm, to be honest. This plastic pipe seems to um, take up the heat really quickly. And then uh, this is a six and a half mil um, punch, or a quarter inch, I suppose, punch. And you just um, stuff it in. You only need to put it in far enough for the teeth to engage and for the basically for the end to seal. Um, do that, get it in there. And then... Uh, Get my airline and just uh, uh, turn the airline off. Um, so cool it down with the airline, and then um, that's done. I guess you could just um, wait for it to cool like, down like it is, and then uh, pull your uh, thing out. And I don't know if you can see, but um, focus. Oh, there we go, even though you can't really see. Um, there is, you can just see a tiny bit of a shoulder and where it's widened out. So once you've cooled that off with the airline and um, just uh, push it back in and um, they seem to seal really good. Um, sometimes I have to do that a couple of times just to get it stretched a little bit. So this is a 8mm OD, 6mm ID. Um, uh, pipe. These are 8mm fittings. Uh, this is a 6.4mm or quarter inch um, punch. You could use the back end of a drill bit but um, you cut your hands up on the on the well the drills I have have got um, sharpened flutes so yeah I don't want to be doing that and I have a punch so I'm going to use that. And that's it really. Uh, so yeah hope that's useful to you. Um, if you do like the video um, please do so. And, uh, you know, if you would like to see more stuff like this and anything to do with the Nova Mill and all the other stuff that's going on, um, please subscribe to the videos and uh, hopefully I'll see you next time. So with that, thanks very much and um, see you next time. Cheers.